Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You are joining the author, Andrew Snorton, for your our edition of the Fast 15. Normally, we will do this earlier in the day on Wednesday, about 1 o'clock, but today had some extra moving parts, so we're jumping on tonight at about 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, to stay connected with me, add me on Facebook at the page Author Andrew Snorton, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube at Author A. Snorton. Uh, for email, for inquiries about any of the books, if you need them personalized, speaking engagements, all that, and then some, you may email me at authoracenorton at gmail.com. And when you add me on Instagram, click on the link in the bio. That will put you to my link tree, and that will have all the info from the website, interviews, the newsletter, social media, info about the coffee collab with Fonte's Coffee and more. So make sure to add, share, connect, and check it out as it's always good to meet, greet, connect, you know, with some really good people doing really good things across the board. So I want to thank you guys for taking time to join me. Uh, as we typically do, before we get into our topic or our passage or however you want to call it, we always take a moment to, you know, for acknowledgments. And we know there's some people who are out there that are going through, you know, some serious challenges, whether it's uh, health related, physically, mentally, whether it's stuff on your job, stuff within your family, stuff within just inside your left and right ear, things along those lines. So if you or someone you know is really going through a challenging time, um, let the, let those people know that there are people that care. There really are. There are people that care despite, you know, what naysayers say, there are people who care. There are people that want to see you be successful, prosper, go through it and grow through it. So, uh, for anyone out there that's going through some struggle, uh, we definitely want to put a word of encouragement out there. By the same token, we know there's people who are going through some really positive things. So if you're one of those people, um, learned how to cook something new, uh, you've made a new friend to uh, uh, just anything. You know, you had to work through something and you finally had that breakthrough. So if you're someone you know is on that end of the spectrum, we want to applaud you for for the good things that are taking place, you know, for you personally, professionally and otherwise. Definitely take time to take inventory and celebrate because you know what you had to work through in order to get there. Now, don't go, don't go too hard, but go hard enough to where you breathe that breath of fresh air, you celebrate, you're encouraged, and then you feed off the positive energy to go on to the next thing. But by the same token, let's not forget our colleagues who might be going through something. So that's just, you know, our, our, our words that we always do before we get up and running. So now we're up and running. We're going to go ahead and get into our topic from the day from one of the books. And it's actually from the current release, Quotes and Notes, Something is on the Horizon. So it's part think piece because it's all original quotes, including one that I borrowed from my grandmother. But bigger than the quote and the meaning and bigger than explain the logic and rationale is the space for people to journal. That way, do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you want to go in a deeper direction? Do you want to go in another direction? Because we know what you put in your head eventually is going to show up in some way, shape, or form. So this is definitely a piece that hopefully helps other people, but it does help me whenever I'm going through you know, some things. So anything I write, it's not just me writing about the topic. It's also a reminder for me. So I hope that... Um, this serves as a reminder for you. So here's the quote that I'm going to read and give some of the logic and rationale and apply it to a current situation. So here's how it goes. Others may downgrade or degrade you. Don't you be one of those people. People may doubt you. Don't you be among them. So I'm going to run this back one more time for the people in the back or the people that just got on. Shouts to the underscore love underscore band, ladies and gentlemen. Make sure to check them out. Amazing band, amazing people. But I'm going to run this back one more time for this quote. Others may downgrade or degrade you. Don't you be one of those people. People may doubt you. Don't you be among them. Now, this is something that's very powerful and it sometimes shows its face from time to time. There's other people that quite frankly are going to have issues or challenges with you because you're moving in spaces and places that they're not. You're meeting and greeting people that they're not. You are 
embracing who you are and whose you are, and they quite haven't done that. So they'll try to pick away and chip away at your armor. They'll try to pick away and chip away at your confidence. And uh, you just have to be aware of that. And then on the flip side, people may doubt you. They doubt you might have the ability because you, quote, don't have the credentials they do. They You haven't been in the spaces and places they've been. And while, you know, there's some things, quote, that might not be in your lane, it doesn't mean that you're not capable. There's people within the sound of my voice that are capable when it comes to cooking, when it comes to being mechanically inclined, uh, speaking, uh, creating, things along those lines. So even like some of the most creative people I know didn't get formal training. So just because, you know, for something now, for some things, you definitely need your paper. Okay, like real talk. But there's some very creative, innovative people that might not, you know, be as fluid with their, you know, vocabulary and things along those lines. But it doesn't mean that they're not as capable. So even today, I I got a reminder of someone who is drawing some things in the question. And I'm just going to say this politely. Just because I'm dedicated to my craft and I'm confident in what I do and I'm clearly better than you at what you do, don't take it personal. Um, <laughs> that's not being arrogant, but that's that's just a fact. And some wise person said, don't let their confidence offend your insecurity. And unfortunately, there are some people who are not as secure and they do feel threatened by your presence. And... Um, you you're aware of that but the bottom line is if you're in a room you're in that room for a reason if you're on the mic you're on that mic for a reason if you're closing the business deal you're closing that for a reason if there's a song that you wrote you wrote that song for a reason if there's a book you wrote you wrote that for a reason so don't let other people's mediocrity or insecurity affect your confidence. I know I'm paraphrasing from somebody, but I think I got a reminder of that today and I will 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 handle that accordingly to the best of my ability. But I'm going to run this back one more time. Others may downgrade or degrade you. Don't you be one of those people. People may doubt you. Don't you be among them. So that's one of the quotes that Today, I got a reminder to remind myself of from the book Quotes and Notes, Something's on the Horizon. Make sure to add it to your reading library or that of your favorite uh, readers, things along those lines. So a couple quick things as we wind down and definitely want to give shouts to on Instagram, the underscore love underscore band. Make sure to check them out. Uh, upcoming events. I'll, I'll just go ahead and run them for uh august and what have you hey shouts to faith travel for you definitely give them a shout when you get a chance so a couple of things you want to put on the calendar now share the information and come up and come out and support so august 5th at 3 p.m join me in conyers georgia at smoke break uh which is a great cigar lounge right there in conyers intimate things along those lines we'll talk about the books we'll talk about the audio books hey you're welcome we'll talk about the books we'll talk about the audio books and we'll talk about the coffee collab that we have with fonte's coffee so shout out to our friends at fonte's coffee so that'll be on august 5th august 10th i'll be part of the author series that is taking place in conjunction with the winder Public Library in Winder, Georgia. We'll have information coming out on that as it gets closer, but just go ahead and mark that date. August 16th, shouts to our friends at I Am Rooted and The Gumbo Show. August 16th from 6.30 to 9.30 will be the next edition of Sip, Paint, and Flow at uh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, Sip and Flow. I'm sorry, I'm just excited. It's getting late. So August 15th, 6.30 to 9.30, Sip and Flow. Flow, which will take place at Paint Sip Socialize. So August 16th, make sure to go ahead and connect. Join us. It's great meet and greet time. We have the beverages flowing. I'll have the coffee available. It's a lot of fun with painting and what have you. So make sure to come on out. Mark the calendars. I'll be posting it, but add I am rooted on there. Uh, August the 19th. Join me in Jackson, Mississippi. I'm excited to be a participating author again for the Mississippi Book Festival. So join me out at Authors Alley at the um, at the state capitol for the state of Mississippi 
uh, the time, I want to say it'll probably be from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central. But again, shouts to the Mississippi Book Festival. I've been a participating author for that from 2017 to 2019 and then last year. So, yeah, it is exciting. I can tell you. So make sure to mark that date. Uh, let's see. Uh, August the 26th. I might as well put it on the calendar. I'll be back in Louisville, Kentucky. At, k- taking time with my friends at Fonte's Coffee right there in Grimstead. We will be releasing the decaf officially on August the 26th. So we already have the medium roast. We already have the light roast. Make sure when you go to Fonte'sCoffee.com, click on Special Collections. You'll see me on there. They're an authorized reseller of all my books, which are already pre-signed. And as a reminder, when you order direct from Fonte's, when you hit the $60 threshold, six zero free shipping, usually two to three days on that. And definitely check uh, my social media as we've got to give shouts to venues like the Bougie Southerner uh, in Lawrenceville, Jay Cigars, um, gosh, Bizarre the Coffee Bar, Bizarre the Coffee Bar in Birmingham, uh, Smoke Break in Conyers, which will be adding the coffee and other stuff. So make sure to, you know, stay connected and check those out. So those are some of the main things that are coming up uh, and what have you. Working on a couple other things. So there's a couple of things up in the air and some things that may change. But for the month of August, definitely, definitely, definitely excited for all those events. So make sure you add me on your favorite social media platforms. It's probably easiest to add me on Instagram at author a snorton. Click on the link in the bio, which is my link tree, and then you can navigate and add all the other social media platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. You can email me if you've got any questions or inquiries or requests for books, things along the, you know, autograph books, things along those lines, uh, coffee information, all that, and then some upcoming interviews, current interviews, all that type of thing. So as we get ready to wind down, definitely want to give shouts to people who join me live. So Faith Travel for You, that's Faith Travel, the number four, and the letter U. Make sure to connect with them. Greg.7x, make sure to connect with Greg. Trying to do some big things up here. Uh, The underscore love band. Excuse me, the underscore love underscore band. Make sure to check them out. Amazing, you know, artists. And um, just shout out to everybody joining me live. I Sometimes I'll pre-record. Sometimes I'll go live. Tonight ended up going live. So thank you guys. So as we get ready to wind down, as it's getting late out here on the East Coast um, and whatnot, I just pray and trust that everyone is doing as well as possible. And like we always do at the beginning of the show, if you're going through something, Take the time you need to get the help you need. So decompress before you do something drastic that can hurt you or hurt somebody else. And if what you're going through requires professional help, get it. There's no shame in that. If what you're going through requires you just to change up your routine or change up the people you're around, do the constructive things you need to to get where you're trying to go and get where you're trying to grow. So as we get ready and close out, as you guys know, whether small or big, a victory is victory. Whether slow or swift, movement is movement. Keep it victorious. Keep it moving. Y'all take very good care. Oh, I forgot. One last thing. I should remember. One last thing. Sat, um, two events. Saturday, um, doors open at 6 p.m. The show starts at 7 p.m. for Enigma events. Selena Johnson is the headliner. Ken Ford, the violinist. And uh, make sure to check that out. So again, that's Saturday, this Saturday in Lithonia, Georgia, the Lithonia Amphitheater. And shouts to our friends at um, Life with Shanita hosting an elegant evening of jazz taking place this Sunday at Spivey Hall on the campus of Clayton State University. The doors open at 4. The show starts at 5. Shouts to Brooke Alford, D. Lucas, Kim Scott, three amazing artists who are doing their own individual sets. I think they'll have a surprise at the end where they'll all come together. Uh, We'll have a few other surprises in mind, but make sure to connect with um, Dr. Shanita Connolly. And again, add them on Facebook, Life with Shanita. But that's coming up this Saturday. So you'll see me posting on my page. And if you've checked the newsletter It's already in there. So again, now I can officially close out. Whether small or big, a victory, a victory. Whether slow or swift, movement is movement. 
Keep it victorious. Keep it moving, y'all. Take good care. Look forward to seeing you real soon.